minifigure packs. Hello everyone, it is our Republic Studs and today I bought 25 Lego minifigure packs. We have everything here from Muppets to Star Wars to whatever this is. Heck, we even have the Looney Tunes. Either way, in this video, I am going to be opening up all 25 of these. So with that said, I'm going to ask you all to smash the like button and we're going to get right on into it. Also, if you would like to buy any of these, I will leave Amazon affiliate links for any of the ones on sale. Um, okay. Let's go. So we're going to start off with, say, a Muppet pack. How about this one? This one looks good. Um, yeah, we're just going to open it up. And it is... It looks like it, it is Waldorf from the Muppets. He looks very cool. Comes with a mug and a little bit of a sign, as well as a pretty cool suit. Next up, we're going to do these. I am not too familiar with whatever is in this series, to be honest. So this is going to be new to me. I'm kind of hoping for that weird... Oh, whoa. What is that? It is some Aztecian dude. He's actually a really solid minifigure. I love the wraparound printing, as well as his double-sided face. It just looks really cool, really unique figure. I especially like this helmet mold. Just very, very cool. Love everything about it. Next up is a Looney Tune, and it is going to be... Who is it? And it's not coming out. Oh, that's Roadrunner, sick. He's very cool. He does come with some bird seed in there, which is really neat. You also do get a really tall tail piece, uh, further adding to my Looney Tunes collection. Okay, it's time for another Muppet. Uh, and this one is going to be, of course, the one and only Animal. This is one of the best minifigures I think Lego's just ever done. They nail the head mold. The printing is insane. I mean, look at the trains, you get the drum. Just an all-around amazing minifigure for one of my favorite Muppets. Now, next up, we're going to do another one of these Series 21 figures. Uh, I got these actually on Mercari a while back, I think. Ooh, that's actually really kind of cute. It looks like we got a little pug boy. Uh, he looks really cool. We're gonna... You know, look at that. That's... That's weird. Uh, he's probably like a furry of some sort, uh, but yeah, here he is. He is just an adorable little dude. Not crazy detail, just a kind of adorable little pug. Uh, aww. He comes with a little tail and everything. That, that's really kind of great. He comes with two little bones. Uh, nailed it. Love it. Okay, next up we're opening one of these foil packs. I mean, this one's not really a shock, uh, but I did want to get around 25, and also it's just include Star Wars in the mix. You know, we're getting Star Wars mystery packs. These are actually these ones that come out in Britain. I'm trying to open it from the back, and it is not cooperating with me. Um, okay, they're just adhesive here. Yeah, it's just a strong adhesive. Okay, uh, I wonder, are they, do these come built or something? Uh, okay, I don't think that did anything. Okay, well, I'm going to open it up since I already destroyed it anyway. Um... Oh, yep, there it goes. And here he is. This is our first order stormtrooper. It looks like it is the more modern version of these, the like last Jedi ones, not the Force Awakens ones. Um pretty solid, pretty cool, quite honestly. Uh, nothing really special. Obviously that's great for army building. Uh, but nothing much more than that. And then finally another Looney Tunes bag. Let's see what we get here. Hopefully it's not Roadrunner. Oh, Okay, I think this is my least favorite inclusion, Petunia Pig. The reason she's my favorite is because I literally never heard of her before. They should have included Foghorn Lakehorn or uh, Sam or, you know, Pepe Le Pew. But, like, I, I don't know why her. She's just not that interesting. So, interesting prints, interesting mold, but, you know, just, I guess, Porky Pig's girlfriend? I don't know. Okay, we're going to open another Muppet one. Remember, guys, I'm still on the hunt for Kermit. So maybe this will be it. I, I am, I'm honestly dying for a Kermit uh, because I do not have one yet. Oh, my gosh. Is that another animal? Okay, so here is Animal again. Nothing new. This is the second one here. Um, honestly, when I was doing my packaging for the last one, I was kind of putting off the ones with a lot of pieces or thicker ones because I knew they were all animal. So we might see more of him, honestly. But I'm going to actually do another Muppet one. Now, this is the one I honestly feel has the highest chance of being Kermit because it is relatively thin. Um, but yeah, so here we go anyway. Oh, uh, no. It's an, it's another friggin' Waldorf. What are the odds of that? We've, we've opened two Waldorfs and two animals. Oh, there's Waldorf. Let's get the next one. It's probably gonna do another um, Looney Tune, maybe? I don't know. Okay, I've decided we're doing whatever this one is. Uh, and we're gonna open it up. 
and it is going to be, uh, ooh, it's the Ladybug Girl. That's actually a solid pick. She is, she comes with two little butterflies. I love the little shell thing back here. Oh, it's so great. You also do get, I believe, a double face print. Very solid minifigure. Nothing crazy, just kind of adorable. Okay, let's do another Muppet one. Let's hope it's not Animal. Okay, uh, I feel like this is gonna be Animal again. I don't know why. Oh, oh, you gotta be kidding me. No way. Okay, it, it's another Waldorf. Okay, so the odds of a third one have to be pretty dang slim. What What are the odds of that? Okay, well, I'm gonna do another green one, and then we're going to do a Looney Tunes one again. Um, and here we go. Uh, and it is going to be... <gasps> oh, I was dying for this guy. He's so cool. Uh, it's this little alien dude. I think he looks kind of like uh, Zuckus. Uh, he's a cool Star Wars alien, quite honestly. He looks like... A, I think they're calling him, like, intergalactic criminal or something. Uh, but, you know, he has just a cool head mold. Really exclusive. It almost feels like they made him as, like, a Star Wars minifigure. But then they decided against it uh and it's really really freaking cool i'm really happy to have him actually this is probably my favorite pull other than roadrunner from this whole thing okay here is another looney tune we're going to go right on into it and it is going to be oh oh looney tunes we've been doing pretty good on um okay uh that is wily e. coyote very epic. okay this is pretty solid figure i love widely thing i actually met him at six flags which is pretty epic he has a little anvil to drop on roadrunner we also got here and we're gonna move our waldorfs out of the way so they could go together now look at that how awesome is that so anyway here is our next pack and we're going to open it up and it is ooh, whoa that is gigantic <gasps> oh, is this what i think it is is this that kid yes oh it is uh, one second so this is Airplane Girl. She comes with a little airplane as well as a little helmet. Oh, she is so cute. Oh, I love this. Uh, you get the little aviation shirt. Uh, you know, you get short legs. Oh, I love the little airplane. You can stand other figures on here if you want, I guess. That, oh, that's just great. I like that a lot. Okay, time to get lucky with the Muppets one more time. I'm gonna try with this one. I swear, if this is another Waldorf or Animal, I'm gonna flip. It's probably get Oh! That's not too bad. It's a Ralph. This is a very solid minifigure of. I only had one other, uh, so it's nice to get another Ralph at least. I was getting sick and tired of getting three Waldorfs and two animals. It's gonna be nice to add him to the collection. Uh, let's do another green one. We just happen to have a lot of these. That's why I happen to be going through them all. And so far, no duplicates, and I'm probably gonna bite my tongue by saying that. Um, oh no, we have the beekeeper. Oh. I, I love this guy. The B-Movie and Jerry Seinfeld have told me terrible things about this man, and I don't buy it. He seems like a pretty nice dude. I mean, look at that face. He just looks like he just loves honey. Uh, and he also has another really humble face. Oh, look at that little face. He also has the bee gasser uh, and the bees in another hand. Just a great little thing. I love the beekeeper hat mold. That is really creative and really cool. Um... And, you know, you get all the little honey splurt on him. Ah, oh, that's just a great minifigure. Uh, let's do another Muppet. Okay, could this be Kermit? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, I think, of course. We get, This whole thing is just going to be duplicates. Uh, it is another Ralph. Again, very solid minifigure. Just, I would rather not get more duplicates. Okay, so here's my last Looney Tune. I think I need Tweety Bird and one more um, to finish this out. Um, so, I, uh, I, here's Daffy Duck, I already have him, ugh, but that's okay, I don't mind having another Daffy, he's pretty cool, um, uh, yeah, j just, it's, it's no one but Daffy Duck, um, it's very simple, very nice character, I, I, I really don't mind having, honestly, uh, I don't know where his pole is, but he does have the little rabbit season sign, which is great, I think I might have left the pole in the bag, but yeah, very cool. Okay, uh, we're gonna open this one up. And it is going to be nothing because it didn't open properly. Uh, ooh. It is that weird mermaid girl thing. I, I don't know. Uh, but we'll be right back when we're done. Continue our streak. Here she is. She's pretty cool. I don't really know what the deal was with her, to, with her, to be honest. She has some weird feather head. Not very useful in many situations. And yeah, th that, that's really about it. See, I'm even having a hard time focusing on her. Okay, so we're going to do one more green one. And then after that, we are going to do another Muppet. And okay, we, okay, there's our first duplicate. It is another Aztecian warrior type. Honestly, I was waiting for it. We had a good streak going there. Uh, now let's get into the next one. Now this one, I'm almost certain, is going to be Animal. Um, so just, you heard it here first, folks. 
Uh, but if not, I'll be very happy and surprised. Yeah, it's Animal, of course. You know, he's a cool figure, so I don't mind, but I wish he was Kermit. Okay, so now we have two of the green ones, a Muppet and a Star Wars one left, so there's still a shot at a Kermit. Um, and, and oh, okay, we got, we got another Beekeep. I actually honestly don't mind having two of this guy. He's pretty dang cool. Okay, so it's down to the final three. I am going to quench my thirst for Muppets and do this one, and it is, yeah, darn, Bunsen Honeydew. Okay, well here he is, first one in this video, uh, but in my last Muppet video got like four or five of these, so... <sighs> no Kermit, very sad. It, but it is green, so that's something. It's time to open the Star Wars Imperial uh, pilot, uh, Shuttle Pilot. Yeah, uh, he came in the Imperial Shuttle. Not a rare or exclusive figure in the slightest, uh, but still pretty cool to get. Um, here, oh my gosh, these packs are so tiny. Um, oh yeah. Okay, uh, here he is, parts of him, anyway. Okay, I paused, but for those who missed it, uh, his head was rolling all over the place and I had to try and catch it. Very cool figure, very simple, nothing super special about him. Okay, now we're on the last bag. Uh, quick hopes, I just want to say I want to get the guy with the little crab, because the little crab looks adorable. I'm not confident in that, however. I feel like this one's way too thick for that. Oh, we have the little space. Whoa, that is a lot of stuff right there. This is a space police officer. He's actually pretty cool. He has loads of printing everywhere. Uh, you know, he gets all this extra accessories with this giant thing. He has a dual-sided face. This face is, like, very normal, and this other one's just aggressive. Um, pretty cool. So, in total, with our 25 minifigures, we got the little flight girl, that lady, the space police guy, the space prisoner, the pug person, the ladybug lady, uh, two beekeepers, two of the Aztecian warriors, one Waldorf, three, or three Waldorfs, three animals, two Rolf the dogs, one Bunsen honeydew, uh, one Roadrunner, one Wile E. Coyote, one, uh, Don not Donald, uh, Daffy Duck, and one Petunia Pig. And how could I forget our Star Wars mystery, in quotation, minifigures? Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the other things, and tell me what I should do with all my duplicates. I'll see y'all in the next one. Remember to peace out, and stay awesome.